A good USB hub is a great way to add more USB ports to your laptop without sacrificing performance. In this video, I'm reviewing a USB 3.0 hub. This particular model is a RockTac hub. The package is simple and contains only the hub. No instructions are included. On the package, there are the information to contact RockTac support. It has three USB 3.0 ports and also has two SD slots. One full size and the other is micro SD. The USB ports are all on the side and they are well spaced. So you can plug in three devices at the same time, even if they are wide devices. It feels well made and sturdy. It doesn't need an external power because it draws its power from the laptop's USB port and its size is not too big. This makes it less cumbersome, more versatile and portable. To benefit fully from its speed, make sure you plug it in a USB 3.0 port on your laptop. Usually the eSATA is also a USB 3.0 port. On some laptops, the 3.0 ports are colored blue. But to make sure, consult your laptop's manual or research it on the internet. When you plug it in, it has a discrete blue LED light that lights up as you see. I'm gonna bring it closer so that you can see it. Here it is on the left. And now because we plugged it, let's go ahead and test it. I'm gonna be performing three tests. The first test is a speed test. One USB 3.0 key connected directly to the PC. So as you see on the bottom right of your screen, I put a USB 3.0 key in my PC directly. Here I'm showing you the device properties so that you can see that Windows recognized it as 3.0. Under disk drives, you see it's a Kingston Data Traveler 3.0. So the test will consist on copying one large file, which is 1.7 gig, and a bunch of small files that are around 230 meg. So this is a test directory. I'll be also timing the copy for each test. As you see here, I'm accelerating the video, of course. And the first test, it took 4 minutes, 24 seconds to copy the files. The second test is I'm connecting the same USB key, but this time I'll be connecting it to the hub and then to the PC. As you see on the bottom right corner of your screen, it's connected directly to the hub. And then the hub is connected to the 3.0 port of the PC. I'm performing the same test and I'm also showing you here that it was recognized as the 3.0 device in Windows. So in device properties, you go to disk drives and you see that it's a Kingston Data Traveler 3.0 USB device. I'll be performing the same test. So here I'm opening the folder and I'm dropping the test folder in it. Also, the video is accelerated. You will notice that also it will take the same time, which is 4 minutes 25 seconds. The one second difference is negligible. The speed test tree is I'm connecting two USB 3.0 keys to the hub and then of course connecting the hub to the 3.0 USB port on the laptop. And this test will consist on copying at the same time the test directory to both the USB keys to see if the speed will be affected if we are doing a parallel copy. Here also I am showing you that Windows recognized both USB keys as 3.0 devices. I'm closing everything. I'm going to open now the folders of the USB keys. This is the first one and this is the second one. And I'll be dropping quickly the test folder first in the first folder and then in the second folder very quickly. So the difference is negligible. It's around a second only. And as you'll see, the copy will take also approximately just 10 seconds more than one USB key, which is a great result. So the speed test results are if you connect the USB key directly it's 4.24 seconds and the others are close behind 4.25 and 4.36.
I have a note about SD cards and webcams that are connected to this USB hub. For the SD cards, if you plug in two SD cards at the same time, only one of them will work. So if you plug a full size SD card and a micro SD card, the one that you plugged first, it will work. Apparently the hub has only one controller. And for the webcam, if you plug it in the first port of the USB hub, it doesn't work. I tried two webcams and they disconnect and reconnect as you see. The video here, I didn't cut it on purpose so that I show you if I change the port to two or three, I'm going to change it to two here. The webcam will work flawlessly. So apart from these two annoyances, I find that this USB hub is good and it does what it should do. It's good for the price. It's excellent performer even with multiple USB keys attached. It doesn't need also an external power. The cons is only one SD card works at a time and first part doesn't work with a webcam. So that was it for the review for this USB hub. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up.